over and over again. If you were my friend. <laughs> Where are we at? We are back at it again. Good to see my friend is Hayes. Hayes sounds where they call me. Let's get straight into it. Election night, SNL. I think I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. This is election night in America. I can't believe after all this, it's going to finally be over. I don't know. We'll see. Trump's already got lawyers to fight the results. <laughs> okay, so. don't even joke about that or I will leave. Guys, we're about to have our first woman president. Like, this is going to be a historic night. Yeah, yeah, it might be a historic night, but just don't forget it's a big country. My friend at the Huffington Post says she wins by five points. Oh, I don't know. My friend at Slate says she'll win by three. <laughs> oh, well, she'll definitely win the Electoral College, for sure. But I guess there's, like, a nightmare scenario where he wins the popular vote. Really? That's your nightmare scenario, huh? <laughs> because of shifting demographics, there might never be another Republican president in this country. Word. Word. <laughs> you ever been around this country before? And we build a fact. Yo, I wish Chappelle show was around before the election. Like, I wonder what, because he didn't do his special. No, he did a special beginning of 2017, so that would have been before Hillary and Trump the election. So I can't remember what he said on it, but like, I wish, I wish he would have did his. Like, this would have been a perfect time to have it, like a Chappelle skit, um, because it's just like, like liberals. Especially white liberals overestimated how still divided and misogynist and racist America is. And it's crazy to see. Like, I remember following the election that day as well. And I thought, yeah, there's no way they're going to do Like, even now, I was like, yeah, there's no way. Like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, it's possible. Like, there's just no way. Like, there's just no way. But slowly but surely, as the night went on, it's like, oh, did did. This 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 guy might actually become Biff from God Day <laughs> Back to the Future too will actually become president. That is crazy. Kentucky will go to Donald Trump. Yeah, well, of course he won Kentucky. I mean, that's where all the racists are. <laughs> all of them are in Kentucky. Oh, you know, she got Vermont. Oh snap, Vermont! <laughs> Three of them. Now that's a power grab. <laughs> okay, this says Florida is too close to call. Okay, no, no, it says too early to call. There's only one percent in. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Florida's going blue to Latinos. To Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course he's gonna win Ohio. We knew that. But if we can get Pennsylvania, Florida, and North Carolina, we don't even need Ohio. Yeah, and if the Indians had score, having four more runs, uh, they would want a World Series too, dude. I'm gonna grab a Xanax from the bedroom. Okay, well you grab me six. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring the whole bottle. How's that? <laughs> Look, like this is like what it was to watch because I only watch M M N S N B C. That's the only channel I can like watch without losing my brain. But like this was literally watching that channel. Uh, Slowly, like Rachel Maddow and like Chris Matthews, like slowly starting to be like, because the oh, what my man Steve, like Zernacki or something like that, see him at the board, like, well, the path to 270, you gotta, and they're like, uh, this ain't looking good. Like, she gotta, like, literally <laughs> win every state <laughs> to win now. It's like, I, ew. <laughs> like, it's just crazy to think, like, this eight years ago, man, man, oh man, just. Interesting times, and again, we might be here again. Don't know. You know, we'll, we'll know in a, in a, in a, in a, within the next day or so. So we'll see. Early returns are always going to be Republican because Republicans go to sleep early. That's just a fact. <laughs> um, I just talked to my brother-in-law at CBS. He says Trump's going to win Florida. Well, uh, I guess that the, the Latinos didn't hear about your toast. <laughs> Hey guys, what I miss? Hey! Two of the greatest ever. Larry, Trump might, Trump might actually win. Yeah. 
actually win? <laughs> I mean, of course. I, what, what are you talking about? I tried to tell him there. What is happening? Why are women even voting for him? Yeah, I, I don't get you ladies. I mean, the country's 55% women. I mean, if the country was 55% black, well, we'd have tons of black presidents. I mean, Flavor Flav would be president. <laughs> <laughs> that really broke. That broke your back up out of that real quick. I don't know what the punchline was supposed to be there, but that, like, really broke. I mean, if the country was 55% black, well, we'd have tons of black presidents. I mean, Flavor Flav would be president. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, all she has to do is come back and win Wisconsin, come back and win Michigan, come back and win uh, Pennsylvania. And some of the counties, are, the, the urban counties, are, they're so... Black people vote late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope there's 100,000 of us in Green Bay. <laughs> Yeah, go Aaron. You never know, guys. Alaska's still out there. We're now calling Alaska for Donald Trump. Oh my God. I think America is racist. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I remember my great grandfather told me something like that. <laughs> you know, he was like a slave or something. I don't know. I just, I can't believe it. Like, why aren't people turning out for Hillary the way they did for Barack Obama? I mean, maybe because you're replacing a charismatic 40-year-old black guy with a 70-year-old white woman. I mean, that's like the Knicks replacing Patrick Ewan with Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> and Donald Trump has been elected president of the United States. Yeah, you guys are right. It's a historic night. Don't worry about it. Eight years are gonna fly by. Yeah, don't eight worry. Eight years, eight it's years. It's gonna be all white. <laughs> <laughs> what about undocumented immigrants? Oh, they're not going nowhere. Come on, man. You act like everybody trying to pick their own strawberries. <laughs> this is this is crazy. I mean, do you even know? what it's like to be a woman in this country where you can't get ahead no matter what you do. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Let me put my thinking cap on on that one. I'll get back. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, guys. Get some rest. You got a lot of big day. You got a big day of moping and writing on Facebook tomorrow. God, this is the most shameful thing America has ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll never forget that day. Like, it was just a day. I legit went into, because I, once it got around like 11, because I had to go to work, I think relatively early that day, if I remember correctly. Once it got around 11, I said, yeah. I think Obama, it was called pretty early both times, like around 11 p.m., 11.30, if my memory serves me correct. But for this one, it was just like, yeah, I'm going to sleep because it's not looking good. Then I woke up with the whole, I'll never forget whatever the post was, like CNN, like that just scowl of Donald Trump. And it's like, your new president. I'm like, dun, dun, dun. I'm like, God. Yo, I remember, like I was in a deep, I was in a three day depression to where I legit did not want to eat. I was surprised I even went to work because I was just so, like, I can't believe, like, I know this, like, I, I'm not a, <laughs> I know this country, but like, it's like it's still that bad. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah, I I don't know what's going to happen. I think uh, again, I think everything in my body, my mind, my spirit tells me Kamala's going to win. Even after, even only, even after only having three months to campaign, but. Unlike last time, I'm bracing myself for the worst because nothing got by this point. Like 2016 really showed like there is no there is no standard. <laughs> right? So at this point, it's like I'm ready for anything. I prepare for anything. So it's it's gonna be what's gonna be. But um yeah, election night was 2016 was crazy. So we're gonna see. Either this time, we'll finally elect our first woman president, 
or we go right back to repeating history and, and have Trump in there again. He was still, I don't know how that works because he is convicted for that way, so. But like, comment, subscribe, share all the things, other things. And you gotta go home. You gotta get this stuff in. Peace. And I'll